would like to share. I appreciate you guys being vulnerable. Um, I know it's not always easy. Question, anyone else want to share before I throw out the questions? That's it. Thank you guys. I just have two short questions just as for the novel as a whole. Um, totally shift in gears, but um, I just want to get your guys' opinions because these are what um, I really thought about while reading the book. Um, so the first one was, how does a novel being set in the near future affect how you view the story? Like, there's a lot of like contemporary issues talked about in a novel, and like especially since you know allusions to our current president that we talked about last class. So, how does reading that story kind of how does reading the story kind of change the way you saw it being set almost in today's world? Yeah, I feel like they made it. Yeah, that's what I too. I was like, oh, reading it and like thinking, oh shoot, like this this could happen. And just like yeah, realizing that makes it more like harder to read, I guess, than something like a dystopian society that like we know wouldn't happen at least mm -hmm. in the next couple of years. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the same thing. It's like when you watch a scary movie and then it says based on a true story. <laughs> I understand like how this like could happen, but I'm also like there's no way I'll let this happen. Kind of like attitude towards it where it's like, okay, like yes, this is I don't know, I guess it's so good to read these things because it has happened and it could happen and like we see that. But I think that's what's good about reading them is that us being like, Oh my gosh, let's make sure this does not happen. Mm -hmm. But I think the ways that it does happen is very like it happens. They come about and people don't see it as like they're convinced that it makes sense. Like the Japanese like incarceration, they're like, oh, this is logical because maybe some of them are spies and everyone's so afraid of the war, so they do things that they know are not fair and not you know like justified and not good for the country and not, you know, humane, and so that's why I think it's good to read it because I feel like what's the scariest part about it is it could happen, be, it could happen and we wouldn't really realize it at first. We'd be like, oh yeah, this makes sense, like this is, yeah. we're scared of these people, right? The, you know, the media, like you, the next question is like, can point all these things out and make an entire country scared of a certain type of people and then be like, if the government chooses to do something, we're like, okay, this probably, this seems kind of wrong, but maybe it makes sense. Where it's like, no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense at all. Mm -hmm. So then, yeah, so leading to the next question, I was going to ask what role does the media play in the novel, and then how does it reflect the media's influence we see today? <laughs> it definitely played a big part in um, them getting out the movies. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, with the Holocaust, based on like what I know, is people have 
here in the U.S. at least, like no one knew about any of that until it was like too late. So there wasn't anyone to really protest it because the only people who knew were like in a concentration camp or seeing people get taken to a concentration camp. Whereas like in this book, I feel like a lot of the people who were like, hey, this is wrong, let them out, were people who weren't really at risk. Like obviously David was always kind of like, I feel like kind of at risk, but kind of not, because like dad knew people. <coughs> this sounds like a bunch of like white millennials kind of is what I pictured. Like what are they gonna do to them? Like they can't put them all behind bars. So I feel like that's kind of why they were able to I think our world today is like so wrapped around social media, so that's why I thought it was very interesting that it was played such a big role in the novel. It kind of tied into the whole near future because it is today's society, especially with the Instagram live video. That that's what stuck with me because it was literally on Instagram. And I feel like um, those kind of things is what made it also one relatable, but also two. I don't know. It was hard because it's like. Okay, it's supposed to be a really serious book, but that we talk about Instagram at the same time. <laughs> but um, that's like a lot of things do circulate that way, like through Instagram and Twitter. And so um, I thought it was very interesting that it was really reflective of um, today's society. But do you have any last comments? I think if you ever see anything racist or you see child abuse or something and it's right in front of you and you know you're not going to be beat up, you take out your phone and you start videoing. It's like, it, it makes it, it will go viral and it will make a difference. And it might be used in a court of law for justice. I mean, so technology can be a tool of justice. Yeah. I, I would do it anyway, wouldn't you? Yeah. If it was going to save someone, yeah, I would do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to, you do, you sort of, quickly sort of figure out if you can do it or not.